Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. New York State Audit back at it once again. We're at the East Greenbush Town Hall, located in Rensselaer, New York. And we're here to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to record in public and publicly accessible areas. So not only is this a town hall, but it also has a police department connected to it. So we're gonna take a look around the outside before we head on in. They have a few things outside that I wanted to look at. I believe they have another one over here. So I believe this side has the police station. So we're gonna walk through over here first. So we'll probably check this out after, but I just wanted to check out the perimeter like I normally do. So I don't see any signs that say uh, no trespassing So we'll keep looking around. So this is how uh, the police vehicles in East Greenbush look like. small little parking lot code enforcement vehicle to double check make sure there wasn't a sign saying that this ramp is for employees only or anything like that so there was no signs
All right, let's go inside. So while we're in there, I want to take a look at their annual budget as well as uh, I want to make a FOIA request. Maybe even a couple FOIA requests. But before I go in, I'm gonna quickly look at the other side because I did see that there's a another section. Looks like it'd be looks like it could be a parking lot for visitors, but we're gonna see in a second. And if that is the case, probably not gonna take too long over here. But it could be employee parking as well, now that I think about it. So, I don't see any signs that say uh, no trespassing or anything like that. So this is clearly open to the public. So we have a few parking spots designated for people who come to the town hall. All right, yeah, so wasn't much to see. Let's head inside. Go to the town clerk's office.
Definitely a lot of names. It's actually very beautiful. In honor of our veterans, no doubt. All right, let's check out the community room. So the lady was on the phone and uh, I'm pretty sure I heard her saying, just ignore him. That's all I could really make out. I don't think a citizen uh, wants to be ignored. I would rather be left alone. That would be uh, something I'd be interested in, but not ignored. Right behind us is the town clerks. Um, yeah, of course. Um, may I please have a look at the annual budget? And can I also please have two FOIA request forms? Thank you.
And do you ladies by any chance have any business cards? Yeah, I don't see any in the front. Oh, there it is. That's why I didn't see it because I'm not looking down. <laughs> Thank you. Here's your forms. Awesome. You want a copy? I can make a copy of this for you? Oh, no, I just want to look at it right here. You want to look at it? Okay, yes. Because this is my original, so you'll Yeah, I'm not going to take off with it. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you very much. And you're the town clerk, right? Yes, I'm Ellen. Nice okay. to meet you, Miss Ellen. Here you go, miss. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so we're going to take a look around before I fill up. My FOIA requests out. Can I help you? Oh, no, not at, not at the moment. Are you taking video? Yes, I sure am. Uh, can I help you with something? Oh, not at all. You, you kind of asked me that already. <laughs> May I ask who I'm speaking with? I'm speaking with Lynn. Nice to meet you, Miss Lynn. Okay. And what's your title here? Miss Lynn, can you please tell me your title? I think that's kind of the only assistance I would need at the moment. Oh, okay. I am a part-time court clerk here. Okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Miss Lynn. Oh, well, um, I'm behind the counter and there's no expectation of privacy from where I stand. So the onus is on you to keep the information private. I'm sorry, you're calling who? I'm so, no, of course, I'm not keeping you from doing that. Who is she calling? <clears throat> oh, well, then the position of your screen is horrible then because where I stand... Oh, that's actually inaccurate. I actually have a right to film you while in the course of your duties. And may I ask who you are, miss? Because it, I heard you uh, saying you were calling someone. I'm just curious on who you're calling and who you are. Excuse me, Miss Lynn. Wow. Well, you asked if I needed help, and I would like some help. Yes. What information would you like? I would like her name and title, please. I just want to know who's... Uh, can you tell me why? 
because you because a citizen is asking. And he's and I'm asking politely, respectfully. You you, you are, uh, uh, but I don't believe that I'm being being videotaped is being played. You know, unless you can tell me why I'm being videotaped. Oh, it's, I don't necessarily need to explain. I'm just gathering content for a story. I'll give you that much, okay, Miss Lynn. Well, you, you have my name, so if you have any issues, you can. Oh, there's no issues. But I would just like her name uh, and title as well, because that's actually the help that I needed. You guys have any business cards by any chance, Miss Lynn? Alrighty, so uh, Miss Lynn, when you have a moment, can I get a FOIA request form, please? Yes, thank you very much. I'm sorry, what are you looking for? I'm sorry, ma'am, If uh, can you please, uh, if you would like to communicate with me, feel free to come over here. That way there's an, a middle person, a middle woman or middle man, however you want to call it. For a FOIL request? Yes. The town clerk's office. Oh, yeah, I know. I, 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 I kind of want to figure out who I'm speaking to, and I have a right to know who I'm speaking to. If you're a public servant, yes, I do have a right to know. Well, then you, because to be honest, right now, the way I'm being treated, I would like to address my grievances. So I need her for her name and last name and her title in order for me to do so. If if that if that's going to give me the results, then sure. Well, I don't know what results you're looking uh, for. It's clear that I want her name in uh, first last. Well, uh, Miss Lynn, do I appear pissed off because I don't know who she's talking to, but she's. I'm I'm ready. I'm kind of right in the middle here, so. Not really, not really, because technically you initiated this, because you asked me if I needed help. No, you did. Yes, and and I respectfully. Wow, very very uh, professional treatment well, here you, that you guys give to the citizens. Help you. Not really. But I need her name. How can I redress my grievance? You know you're violating my First Amendment right to redress my grievances by not give, providing me with her first and last name. Okay, her name is Stephanie. Stephanie what? Okay, we're not giving out last names. Why not? She's a public, okay. she's a public so servant, ma'am. Do you want to give me your name and last, first name and last name? Uh, actually, I'm a private citizen, so I don't have to. I'm not okay, required. Well, Wow, very, very unprofessional. All right, so as you can tell, it's employees only, so we're not allowed in there. Uh, I'm, looks like I'm going to have to get uh, their names from the FOIA request. No problem. All right, so let's check out the other areas. Wow, that lady was talking to somebody on the phone. She said that I was pissed off. Interesting. Very interesting.
Oh, don't want to miss those. So this is the building inspector, fire inspector. Pretty neat. Hi. Hi. How are you? Um, I'm okay. How are you guys? Good. Can we help you? Um, not at the moment. Not specifically. Uh, may I ask who I'm speaking with? Chief Brzezinski. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. May I ask who I'm speaking with? Um, my friends call me Atreyu. Atreyu? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Um, Likewise. I think, well, yes, it's going to be on Halloween because it's Monday. Okay. All right. And also... Yeah, that actually works out perfect. Yeah. Just, did you like the certain small age group yep. again? Yeah, like new, I think it's 10 to 10 new. To okay, perfect. Stephanie brought a bunch of little um, Oreo cookie packets I just hand out. Um, so not like so there's no nuts right. and stuff yes. like that. Yeah. So we yeah. have a little bit and we'll yeah. some here first. And you'll so. you have, I got more, all the packages and if you want to keep them alive. I'm going to have to ask you not to film um, some of these documents because they're confidential. Oh, okay. yeah, well, there you go. That's that's how we there keep that go. from happening. Thank you. Yeah, the onus is on you guys to keep that private, not me, <laughs> with, all, with all due respect. We don't normally have people come in and film stuff that's sitting on the counter, so the well, public information is all posted. Well, even if someone was walking in not filming, you know, their, their eyes can still they see those. They actually knock before they come in. Oh, they knock on, yeah. on a glass window yeah, they, where, where, where you can actually just pull and, and enter, like how I just did? <laughs> yeah. That's weird. But okay, hey, everybody's different, right? Take the pictures down, Mary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't want to be filmed. So. Well, I apologize that you feel that way. I'm just gathering content for a story. Of my family pictures. That's not the story. That's not what I said. Is that what I said? I wasn't even specific about the story. Mask, well, I'm, I'm speaking ask with. You to, um, step out, and if you'd like to make an appointment to speak to the supervisor, you're welcome to. He's just not here right now. Okay. Yeah. Um. Who's who's uh who am I speaking to here? I'm gonna ask you to step out. Uh, um, can I ask why? Because we're not going to have you filming information up here on there that is private and not privy to the public. You just said customer or uh, citizens come in here. Yep, for appointments. They sit over here. They don't film the stuff that's hanging there that's confidential to the town. Well, I'm, am I breaking any, any laws? I'm or? asking you to step out. No, I heard that. Okay. I have so enough. I'm going to ask you one more time okay. or I'll have you escorted out. Can I ask you? Okay. Please call downstairs and ask wow. one of the officers to come up. Can I ask you what crime have I committed? I didn't ask you. I asked you to stop filming because we don't allow private information to be filmed. But that isn't private. Okay. Those are pictures. It's That's not pictures. There's other information yeah. over there that she doesn't So why do you guys have private information? Yeah. And who is this over here recording? I'm just curious. Okay. I'm going to ask Yeah, you. can I ask who that? Yeah, I'm going to. No, you I'm actually about request. to leave. I'm, okay. You can FOIL request any no, actually, you want for who works in the town hall. Yeah, but then how am I going to know who actually, what her name is, what you, you can ask, think about it? Well, I could file a FOIL request. For this young lady like right I here, right? I asked you your information, and I'm not familiar who it is, correct? Okay, I'm going to ask you to step but out. But you have a name to work with, correct? I'm asking you to step out or I'll escort you out. Please do Are not raise clear? your voice. Okay. I would just Let's like go. to... Re Please do not touch Let's me. Go. Please leave the Do screen. not touch me again. Leave now. Do not touch leave. me again, ma'am. Leave. Okay. What? I'm giving you a direct order to leave the building. You're giving me an unlawful direct no, order. No, I'm not. You're okay. not welcome here anymore. This is... Now you're being told to leave. Leave. First off, this is... Yo, yo are you serious? Are you serious? I asked you to step out. Yo, Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Out. 
What's Excuse me, do not touch me, please. Okay. Well, I asked you to stop Sir, filming private back information up. in there. You refuse to do I, so I, Identify out. yourself, please. Officer Hotel, please. Stop getting Officer close Officer to me. Is he under arrest? No, he, I've asked him to leave. He's been asked to leave. Sir, okay. Can you please leave? I'm filing a FOIA request okay. right here. Oh. Can you guys please give me space? Can you please okay. leave? I asked him to leave four times. He's refused to do so. Is that a lawful order? I am trying to conduct business. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Right here. Can Officer I get your name in the back? Private number? information that we were asked not to film. So I'm in a out. public area, sir. Yes, sir. And that's Can the I? Super registry, the doors closed. I asked now you to leave. Been asked the, to leave the I am trying to ask her. Okay. Yeah, and who, I told you my name, Chief Radzinski. May I speak? No. Nope. Because you put your hands you on me. I asked you to you, leave. You so just. I did. I escorted you out the door. All right. I'm going to file charges of harassment. You can feel free to do that. You, okay. Feel free. Because so, that's what you just did. Because I asked assault you to leave and battery. Four time. That's not you assault put your battery. Hands, you might want to learn the New York State penal law. There's no battery in New York State. Okay. You're right. But Correct. you did assault me. No, there's you no did assault. harassment. Either way, it doesn't okay. matter. The I don't. Chief, the chief of police. I would like to have a. Where's the chief of police? I just told you who I was. You asked me. I said Chief Radzinski. You have it on film. Why don't you play it back? Are you the chief of police? I told you that already twice. Now this is three times. Okay, so hands are not, please. Well, right here. Thank you, sir. Okay. What? What do you mean? I have a right to put my hands wherever I feel Let's like. Go. it. Can right you now, please no. identify yourself okay. verbally? We, 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 verbally. Going we're going, we're going verbally. Okay. Okay. Verbally. Okay. Verbally. Okay. Can you please? Can you? From the, the town can you please? Office, and now you're being okay. asked to leave. So you know about the penal law, right? Right. Do you know uh, two forty dot sixty five? Yes. Unlawful prevention of access to records. Okay. Well, that's what you're committing. No. If you unlawfully no, remove me, right through, all right, sir. and I don't have. Told how to fill it out. I'm gonna okay. fill out in here though. You can fill it out right in the lobby. In not here, in the supervisor's office. I'm not going to the supervisors. That's you know why I went there? Why, sir? To speak to the town supervisor. And I told you he wasn't for here. a reason. And you can make an appointment. I told you. And then you. why did you ask me to leave? Because you were feeling. What lawful reason? From a public not, area. That you were going. I was in a public space. I was in a public and space. I asked you to what, cease tell me and what? All right, what penal? Correct. What are you talking about? Penal law, right? What I'm crime have I committed? I'm you, I what you, crime have I committed? The problem is, I told you to leave a facility, a building, unlawfully. Was a lock, closed door. I'm, I, I'm a citizen. No, that's not unlawful. It, it, it's not. First it's of all, trespass. Trespass. At this point, when you've been asked during to leave business location, hours. When I'm trying to conduct legal that, and lawful business, I'm not gonna do this anymore. listen, you're but trying to violate my constitutional camera. rights, okay. okay? My First okay. Amendment right, okay. freedom you of the have press, your document, you okay? Need, so you, you know so much about the penal law, right? You know so much about the penal law, then you know about the Constitution. You have his name. So I don't have his name. He said, unprofessionally, right and you're the chief of police, he should identify himself. He, uh, he, he said right here. You know, camera back. He, he said right here. He said it's no. right here. The first time he answered you. Can I get your name, GS? How do you pronounce your last name? Officer Hotel. He already told you that. 24, thank you. And you? Officer of Fortune, badge number 54. Thank you for identifying yourself. If you want to play back your camera when you're on your couch, you'll hear that he answered you. Okay. And I already addressed who I was three times. So the chief of police... So you no. think you have a right to put your hands on citizens? I asked you to step out of but a room. But can you tell me what law, uh, what penal because law I committed? Because you were told to leave. And that's what, and that was lawful? you were told to leave, and once you're not wanted somewhere along, it's called trespass. Not really. Yes, it is. No. Yes, it is. You have, so I'm going to ask you, you to the fourth or fifth time. Okay, you have to knowingly you we'll trespass. I have business here. What business do you have? Wow, you're not listening to me, man. I asked you to fill your phone out here. I'm have out here. You said you wanted me to fill it outside of the town supervisor's office. I suggested you go and to the I lobby, am. actually, if you want to you play the suggest camera back. It. You suggested. Right. I'm respectfully going to fill it out okay. wherever I can fine. that's open fine to the public. Fine. We're done okay? With Let him fill it out here. Thank you. Can you I get your uh, badge number, please? I mean, excuse me. You already have my name. No, I want your, your uh, card. Right your card. I would like your card, please. Oh, matter of fact, since we're here, let's fill out. Hold on. Let's make sure that we fill out a harassment report here because she put her hands on me yes yeah. so can i get uh can we take care of this if, if you'd like to oh excuse me uh can i get you to identify yourself please assistant chief Riker. chief Riker. assistant assistant chief, chief Riker. yes thank you a badge number do you have a badge number and who's this young lady right here that's been filming me the whole time uh, okay we're all set guys not really i, I want to file uh charges here harassment New York State Police. okay all right don't erase that, because I'm going to FOIA request it, okay? And it's a crime to erase it. Awesome. Take a good picture. I'll smile for you. But you, ma'am, you're the chief of police. I'm going to file charges on you. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't need you to tell me again something I already know. Because you guys are not going to do your job here, right? Right.
the chief of police. The chief of police is clearly a tyrant that thinks that they could put their hands on citizens. Interesting. Well, you just earned yourself a lawsuit. Quite a few tyrants. You're definitely setting a bad example for the rest of the police department. Well, don't worry, you're gonna learn today. Good try with the intimidation though, that was, that was a good try. On somebody else, they probably would have folded like a chair. But not me, sorry, because I know my rights. And that's why I'm still here, right? Exactly. You don't have to know everything about the law. Not as a citizen, at least. But for you, you should know. And you should know better. There's no expectation of privacy in public. Trespassing, that's comical. <laughs> Trespassing, good luck with that. Oh, you sure you're not breaking policy by using your phone? Yeah, I'm sure you are. But you guys apparently don't give a damn. Morning. Morning. You the town supervisor any chance? No.
Yeah, you see what happens? She tried to hit me with some penal law, but then when I hit her with that penal law, 240.65, when I hit her with that penal law, she knows that she'd be in trouble for violating, which if you guys don't know, it's unlawful prevention of access to public records. So yeah, so she knew better when I said that to leave me alone. See, she didn't think that I was informed about the penal law, <laughs> that she could just spit whatever she wants, and I'm just going to back down. Interesting. Not this one, sorry. Not this one, Tyrant. We'll call you Miss Tyrant, because I, I forgot your name already. All right, so... Let's go get this uh, it out, Michael, photocopied and stamped. So we're oh, going to yeah, actually Michael. get the information for the Justice Court, Michael. too, real quick. So actually, hold on one second. Hi. Yes, I'm. I'm all set. I just need these uh, stamped and photocopied so I can get a copy for my records, as well as another copy but blank. Yeah, please. Thank you very much. Oh, wow! You got some uh, some AC. You guys are in a good spot. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So no AC at all. Just just a little draft. Thank you. I want everything emailed to me. Okay. So, oh, you provided that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see the email address up there. That's okay. But I did add it in, uh, to the... Right here. Right, exactly. But okay. yeah, my apologies. I need you to I, sign them um, right here. Yep, I didn't even see that. Yep. I, for, I apologize for overlooking that one little spot, but... No worries. I just... I was just uh, backed into a corner by three officers and a, a chief of police, so I'm a little distracted. I'm not going to lie. I don't appreciate uh, how I was uh, harassed, physically harassed. No, yeah, I appreciate that. You do not understand how pumped up I am right now, <laughs> Miss. You do not understand. No, I'm, I'm, I don't need that long. You know, I'm just, I'm just upset because my, my rights were just violated. Okay. 
So we're, we're going to have a problem for sure. Not with you guys in particular because you guys have been awesome. I'm all set. Copy for you. Yeah, uh, do you know the name of the town supervisor? The town supervisor. Do you do you have their their name, their first and last name? It's Jack Conway. Jack Conway. Yes. Thank you very much. You don't have any information where I can get a hold of him, right? No. No uh, email or. Okay. Terrible From over there, right? Down in the people. Right. Right. Well, I was just physically removed out of there. So how am I supposed to do that? Unless that's a normal thing that happens to the citizens. Is that a normal thing that happens uh, to the citizens when they come in? Well, if he's not available. They physically remove you? No. No? I'm sorry, I didn't catch you. Somebody was talking behind me. We can give you the phone number. Yes. I you can contact. Yeah, anything, any, any information pertaining to him, his contact information, contact, know. excuse me, information, I would, uh, I I would appreciate that. Up. Yes. I would like, uh, you know, the phone number, email. I'd rather uh, deal with him through email okay. as well. All of that is available on yeah. right. Well, I don't, I don't have internet capabilities. Okay. okay, that's why I'm here doing the foyer. Not everybody has a computer. A you know what I mean? She's taking care of that for you. Thank you so much. You know. So, the chief of police kept telling me, or at least she said she stated who she was, but I never heard her say chief of police. I just heard her say chief and then her name. So, honestly, I didn't get it if she was telling me, but even if I, I didn't get it, does it really matter? The way you, the way you treated me, I don't think it matters. This woman touched me, put her hands on me, grabbed me, forced me out. Yeah, it's a wrap for her. And then the police officers come in here, pressing me. They back me all the way into the corner. Okay. There's the supervisor suite's number. Okay, and that's just that's the supervisor's name. No email. Oh, he's got yeah. email. It's all yeah. it's all online. Yeah, like I explained to her, I don't have access to the internet, and not all citizens do. You know, so you know that's why the taxpayers fund this building. That way, we can come in if we don't have access to a computer and get. This is just for camera. Yeah, just for camera. And even if it, if it was a phone that I can use to call people, we still have a right to come in here. You know, this building is, is funded by the taxpayers. You know, you guys are, are paid by the taxpayers. So, you know, we have a right to come in here and get whatever uh, services that we're entitled to without being physically pushed out of an office. So I want to see how your uh, town supervisor feels about the chief of police putting their hands on me and removing me from the town supervisor's office, okay? Because I'm going to send them uh, the video, and we're going we're gonna to see. We're going we're gonna to see if he, if he accepts the treatment that, that I had to endure today.
And then I wanted to file charges, okay, for harassment because she put her hands on me. Guess what happened? You see any police around? No, they're gone. You see, is that how it works? Right? Uh, the supervisor's email is just jconway at eastgreenbushaltogether.org. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Now, I, thank you for giving me the, what I have, a right to redress my grievances. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You have a great day. It's ridiculous. All right, I don't think there's an upstairs section. So we're pretty much, yeah, we're pretty much done. Yeah, let's, let's wrap this up. Heading outside. So before I step out, I'm going to show you uh, the paper that she wrote down. as well as the stamped copies. Sorry about the camera angle, I had to push, put stuff away. All right, so we're outside. Just had to deal with some ridiculous uh, police officers, East Greenbush police, of police officers to be exact. Had to deal with a, a tyrant chief of police put her hands on me and i hope you guys saw that because i put the camera at an angle where uh you can see her physically touching me she had no right to put her hands on me and then when i want to make a report for harassment yeah you know and she's right there's no assault in new york state unfortunately there's no assault and battery okay i just said the wrong thing you know because i'm not gonna lie i was i was pumped up you know what i mean but it, it's harassment Okay, I think it's, there's harassment to the first, to the second, to the third degree. So, you know, she harassed me, period, because there's no assault. So keep that in mind, okay? When you have to defend yourself from somebody who's being irate or whatever, and they're trying to physically harm you, okay, you better defend yourself for sure because there's no, they're not going to get charged for assault or anything like that. They're just going to get charged with harassment. So you're better off defending yourself, whether you can or not. Okay, as long as it's in self-defense. But she's right when it comes to that part, the harassment. But still, I have a, a right to file harassment charges. And what happened? What happened to the officers? Did they do anything? Of course not, because that's their boss. All right. So they're just as bad as her. Period. And I've met some some decent or even good chief of police. There's one in, uh, in Scotia. I've only met him one time. Don't get me wrong. When I went and did a video over there in Scotia at the police station, uh, as well as the, the town hall or village hall that they have in Scotia. Uh, I forgot the guy's name. His first name is Dan. And he was an awesome, awesome chief of police. Very sociable. You know, that's, how, that's how they're supposed to be. But this one right here, I ain't, I ain't even going to front. I can't even remember her name. You know, it's a good thing I was filming and stuff like that because she did say her name, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to make sure everything's in the description when it comes to uh, the officers that showed up, um, you know, whoever I interacted with. But other than that, to me, it was a horrible experience. I'm going to be filing uh, harassment charges on her. She's not going to get away with this. I'm not going to tolerate this. Nobody should have to tolerate that. She got butt hurt is what happened. She got in her feelings because what? Because I didn't want to uh, stop filming something that I have a right to film because I was in a, a public space. Like, come on. It was publicly accessible. You got private information all over the place. Clearly. All the time you guys are doing this. You know, even if I, like I explained to her, even if I wasn't filming, like you still should have that stuff put away because I can see that stuff. But, you know... It is what it is, man. These wanna, they want to act like tyrants. That's on them. But I'm going to wrap this video up because I got a long ride. Uh, I'm probably going to do two other videos uh, for today because it's been like, you know, like almost a week since I've done something. I've been a little busy this week. But, uh, you know, if you guys like the video, smash that like button. Hit that share button so we can expose the good, the bad, and the ugly. And if you'd like to redress your grievances or even give compliments about the conduct in my video and if you would like to re redress your grievances to our government the contact information will be down below in the description because i know i'm gonna be making some calls and, and filing some complaints for sure 
you know, you guys feel free to do so. Like I said, compliments or, or complaints, you know, either or. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Take care of one another, and I'm going to see you guys next time.